In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can redirect a page using JavaScript. It's actually just a single line of code, so I'm going to show you that in just a second. And then I'll show you a more full example where we'll set this up on a button so that when the user clicks it, they're redirected to another page. But if you just want to know what the code is to actually redirect in JavaScript, if you just head over to your developer tools in your browser, and in your console, all you need to type in is window.location dot href and then we just assign this a new value which is the url that you want to redirect to and as you can see as soon as you hit enter you've redirected to the page that you entered on the console you can also do a similar thing with the replace function the only thing is this won't actually keep the history of the last visited page that you're in so you can't actually go back through your browser's history if you use the replace function. So that's all you need to know, either reassign a value to href or use the replace function. But if you want a real example, stick around and I'll show you how you can set this up to be triggered on a button click. So here in Visual Studio Code, I've just got a template HTML file and I'm going to add a button that when we click it, takes us to a new location. So we're not doing anything too fancy, we've just got a button with some text in it and when the user actually clicks it, we'll reassign a new value to window.location.href which will have the effect of taking them to the new site. Let's test that out in the browser now. And you can see that's doing exactly the same thing that we had in the console earlier on. So the window.location object has got quite a lot of interesting things on there. For example, you can actually access the href value if you want to use that in part of your JavaScript code, maybe you need to generate a bunch of relative links, or just pass that as some data to a form perhaps. But I'll leave you to have a look and experiment with that. But hopefully you now know that you can use window.location.href or the replace function to send your users to a different web page.